Welcome to the story of how I put out a very simple challenge and then learned that I should never underestimate the Super Auto Pets community. So the challenge itself was quite simple. You were only allowed to use Star Pack. You had to get 10 wins in the arena and your final team, the winning team, all individual pets had to have less than 10 attack and health. And I declared that the first person to get it was going to get a $20 reward. Okay, so one of the completed runs is playing in the background. I was planning to do this whole big editing thing about everything that happened as the story developed, but you can probably hear it in my voice. I'm quite sick at the moment. So instead, I'll just commentate through what happened step by step, and then I'll have overlays on the screen to show it to you. So I dropped the video. The challenge begins. And within five minutes, Mirko, who we all love, starts streaming his attempts of it. And I think this is cool, so I put it on. And I'm watching Mirko, and he's getting closer to good time. And then, bang! Only 43 minutes later, Freitz shows that he's completed the challenge using the Vulture and the Toad. 43 minutes in, it's already been completed. So straight away, I'm like, hey, like, I've obviously underestimated this, but I'm going to give some extra rewards. Pay attention, lock in. Keep trying. 16 minutes later, Fritz has done it again. Twice within the hour of the damn video being uploaded. Mirko is a little bit deflated. I'm like, keep going, man. Keep pushing. Eight minutes later, Geo, who you may know from the dojo, he does it with no vulture. I think, God, we're cooking here. And then, boom, 20 minutes later, Noi Lopper completes the challenge. We now have three completers in 90 minutes. At this point, it's midnight for me. I have to go to bed. <laughs> 20 minutes after that, Pooh Balls completes it. And he writes a message in the Discord saying, you should have done the lowest stats challenge. And I actually agree with him. I like, I've clearly underestimated people. I probably should have done that. So while I'm sleeping, that challenge organically develops from the people who are attempting it and posting in my Discord. It's now become a new thing. First of all, who can complete it? Second of all, who can actually do it with the lowest stats? Next, Flame completes it. Then Andy Nomus completes it, who had just purchased the pack to like to do this challenge, which is cool. In comes Wonton Soup. He doesn't complete it, but a really alpha attempt with the Atlantic Puffin. So what's that? We now have five or six people who have completed it. I'm still asleep. In comes Grounded Sap. Grounded completes it. And he now holds the lowest stats record. At 58 total stats. Then in comes John Bear. Now, congrats on 1k subs, by the way. Second rock on the moon, the homie. Congrats on 1k subs. He tries to cheat and goes over the 10 stat threshold on one or two of his pets. And then he says that he's mad about it. I don't really understand that one. <laughs> Next... All Smiles completes it. And I've really learned a lesson at this point. Um, never ever, if you set a challenge, underestimate the SAP community. Then McRib gets oh so close. And this was actually his first ever Star Pack run. Now we have Chip, <laughs> my Discord mod, who is tracking the scores for me while I'm asleep. I appreciate him very much. He just blatantly cheats. And then says something about like he was trying something new or something. My brother, you just cheated, Chip. I hate to tell you. <laughs> okay. Next, this is interesting now. Vibli swoops in and he actually ties grounded. So we have a tied lead for the lowest stats. At 58 apiece. Now I'm awake at this point. I've woken up. And I declare that, okay, this is all this is like organically happen while I'm asleep. I'm gonna respect it. I'll give 20 bucks to the lowest stat winner. So Fritz has won his 20 bucks. I'm gonna give another 20 bucks for whoever gets the lowest stats win. Uh, and I set a timer. Like, basically it was like, hey, you guys have 15 more hours, good luck. At this point, Super Auto Gaming, after attempting his blind weekly, he starts streaming his attempts. And I was unable to watch it because I was at work. But rumors say it went for about three hours, featured really bad RNG and severe tilting. So <laughs> I haven't had a chance to go back and watch it, but uh, apparently that was a really good time. There was someone called Luigi that Sag kept matching with and he was losing his mind. 
Next, we have Kosen, who completes it with the third lowest stat total. So I think he had 62 total stats. And now comes Monkey. So Monkey, really good dude and really good player. One of the Team Tour captains. That is the run we're watching behind us right here. And he demolishes the competition. So he did two things differently. First of all, he played against all packs. He was using star pack, but he played against all packs, which I didn't specify you couldn't do, so well played. And secondly, he starts using this level three frog to, after he's leveled up units, he puts really low stats on it. You can see it right there. The frog's about to swap the dove and the stego. Really, really smart. So <laughs> 32 total stats. Just really smart. And it's insane that he actually... He's not going to win this. But still, you can see his strategy. Basically, after he gets this, no one else is able to compete. So let's just enjoy the end of his run here. Like, think about it. 58 total stats by Grounded and Vibli was really low already. And then he's just come in and crushed the competition. So he sells the frog at this point. So he's got a 1-2... A 2-1 and a 2-1. Uh, he's going against a pretty scary team here. It looks like he's going to lose. I I'll be honest with you. I actually haven't watched this run until now. This week, man, like... May as well use this time to talk about it now. Unicorn Pack comes out tomorrow. I've been sick. I've had a team tour matchup. And, like, I got back from Japan. So I had heaps of, like, stuff around the home and my workplace to do. Crazy week, man. That's why, even though I'm sick right now, I need to get this done. Uh, but also it's out of respect for the people who attempted the challenge. And his team, so he actually goes against the star pack team, funnily enough, here. And he's on eight wins. Two to go. Turn 15 with this low stats. Kind of insane. Now, he actually could have leveled up the Stegosaurus and bought a fried shrimp to get it below 10 health, but he chooses not to. He buys a strawberry to make sure that the stork receives the... Uh, Stego buffs. And he versus the Star Pack team once again. And he's going to win here, right? Crazy. He, the popcorn at the back spat out a Spino. Monkey is known as being a massive high roller, so, like, no surprise, I guess. Interesting. Popcorn City. And I'm assuming this has to be the last run. He goes against the Golden Pack team. With good units, but the German Shepherd is doesn't have high enough attack. And yeah, that's going to have him cruising home. And there it is. So this was the winner. So who am I going to give prizes to? I recently launched my members uh, thing. Link in the description. Having members will allow me to run more challenges. And I'm going to talk about that in a sec. But first, the final prizes. I'm giving $20 to Freets for being the first person to complete it. I'm giving $20 to Monkey for winning the lowest stats challenge. And I'm giving $10 to Chip, my Discord mod. Chip, he made the Discord without me asking. He does stuff like this all the time. Just shows initiative and does stuff to help the channel and the community. Chip deserves $10, man. That can buy his unicorn pack that comes out tomorrow. So, <laughs> big things. Congrats to you, Chip. Congrats, Monkey. Congrats, Freets. Uh, I'll DM you guys and sort it all out. And I want to finish with this. Since this challenge started evolving, I have thought of a couple more challenges. And I think one of them is probably the hardest challenge I could throw out. It's achievable, but it's really, really specific. Let me know if you're interested in me doing this more because these videos don't generally do very well view-wise. I could just put out a video that's like, oh, uh, level three leopard is strong and it would get like 2,000 views, but that doesn't interest me. I like this challenge stuff. Are you interested in me doing this more? Because if I do do this idea I'm thinking of, there's going to be a big prize pool considering how difficult it is. So yeah, give me some feedback down below. Shout out to the winners once again and shout out to everyone who joined in. I am never underestimating the SAP community again. And most importantly, I am now going to bed. <laughs> Love you all, guys. Peace.